you know, as a female in mechanical engineering uh, a few years ago, we won't put numbers to it. Um, you know, I was the, I think there were only two females in my graduating class in mechanical engineering. And then, you know, I think when I first started, you know, the numbers weren't great. Um, I think half the time I was given assignments um, just to see if I could get them done. Uh, you know, like, let's challenge the, like, who are, you know, the, the, the odd person in the room that kind of stands out. And so, you know, I think you face some of that. I, I, I think, um, you know, working in Mexico and in some cases in Germany, I think there's, there were special challenges. Uh, my first day in Mexico, I actually did not need a radio. You could hear the cat calls through the entire plant. I'm not kidding. Like, I started on one end, and you could just hear me walking through the entire plant. And so, you know, what do you do in that situation at 22? Um, so, you, you know, I, my Span I minored in Spanish, and so I went up to the, I had to go tell somebody basically, like, do you have a daughter? And, you know, you had to address it and kind of put it to an end. No one else could do that for you. Um, so, you know, and there's lots of other situations that, like that that you find yourself in, I think, when you're kind of unique uh, or, you know, different from the crowd. And so, um, but I think also that helped form me, right? I mean, I think that those, uh, those, were, those opportunities were a chance to uh, kind of figure out my bearings and figure out how I, I dealt with adversity. You know, you know what I mean, you know, every, we all have adversity. So, you know, I think those challenges were, were unique to me being female, but I also think it um, fundamentally at a very early stage, you know, I don't think I was ready for all of them. Uh, I don't think I handled them all perfectly, uh, but I also think I grew tremendously from every opportunity that I was given like that.